The meeting will continue for the whole day to ensure that we identify all the gaps that we have faced and address all of them. Majorly, the main issue that has been seen is inconsistency in drug uh, supplies to facilities and we have resolved today to ensure that we have a team which will be monitoring this on a daily basis and to ensure that we order our drugs early enough so that by the time the other one is depleted because of challenges in Kemsa, the best is we order early enough. Another issue has been the drugs that are ordered are not the same that are supplied. So what we have said is that we are sending a whole team next week to go to facilities and look at the disease burden in each facility. There are facilities which need uh, pneumonia drugs, others need malaria, but they get uh, drugs that they may not need. We want to re rationalize and ensure that we have a clean list a clean list of drugs that are applicable to every facility. Another thing that we have discussed is about uh, prevention. We want to massively invest on prevention. They say prevention is better than cure. So our team today have decided that we want to also coordinate our CHP or community health promoters very well so that they can be able to address uh, the issues of primary health care at the grassroots level, which will subsequently reduce our creative budget sector. We have looked also on human resource challenges that they are facing and I have promised that we will address progressively. Progressively will mean that as we get funding, we continue addressing them until we get a good environment for our workers, ensure that our patients are served and served very well with quality health care at the most affordable price. However, we still have isolated challenges, small challenges which are related to drugs, personnel, uh, we have few staff, we have some of challenges which are making us have a challenge. But what we are saying, we want to adjust and ensure that we have a model facility